go ahead and we'll just go do an aspect. So that's a scrutiny or inquiry. We're done anyhow, aren't we? Now with this guy, we've we've he's he's going to say say nice things about us and introduce us to this trader before we horribly steal a trading opportunity. I think we've completely wrecked him as far as we physically can. Yes. <laughs> Both in and out of character, yes, certainly. <laughs> can we steal a Dauntless class like Cruiser? We could certainly <laughs> try. But it doesn't have a teleport home or. Uh, no, but we have one. Or anything. Yeah, but it's bigger. And once we strip out some of the un unnecessary cargo space, because we've got the dedicated freighter, it can put in a lot more guns than the um, sword currently can. True. Uh, anyhow, or we we'll worry about that when it finally I think we get ahead of just replace yeah. all the stuff. And uh, turn that thing and put our uh, teleportarium and all that other stuff into the light cruiser. That would be Macari's department, whether we can move the teleportarium. That would be the that person that just said it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's early, okay. And there's no Skype thing to make you light up in fantasy grounds when you're speaking. Uh huh. Yeah, a little speech bubble, that's it, pretty much. Anyhow, anyway, we have wrecked this guy's mind completely utterly. Oh yeah, he's broken. He we we'll get that guy. Now. Yeah, which is which is nice. We just get some of his drunken guards. To... So before before we release him and his retinue, uh, I go ahead and take the guy that I knocked out and put him in the back of their shuttle with a bottle of Amasek in his hand. Good idea. <laughs> Good idea. Um, now remember, we don't <laughs> want him to remember what happened. <laughs> we get, we get well, nothing happened as far as he know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to walk down the corridor to see the boss. Oh, no, I'm on the floor. <laughs> now I've woken up in a completely separate ship. Ooh, am I, was I drunk? Um, <laughs> I'm <laughs> well, there's this bottle of Amasek nearby, and who the hell just drew a uh, unibrow? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not a good unibrow. Tim Curry. Not a unibrow, no. <laughs> right, that, anyhow. that should not be taken as a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows that um, he knows where Kaj is, but he also uh, admits that he can't really go for get to him um, because uh, he's but, you know he's got his own force and well you know. It'd be dicey to go against him because he's got business dealings with the guy. Yeah, yeah for sure, fine. Yeah. Annoying, but it's understandable. In which case, gentlemen, um, can you at least tell us where he is? Yeah, he can Fetch. give you a location of his, um, you know, lo well, his location where his factory is. Well, seeing as we actually kind of need this thing intact, we can't just let gravity do the hard work on this one. <laughs> which is a crying <laughs> shame, I admit. <laughs> So we may have to do a little bit of a tactical insertion on this one. Yeah, I can I can see that. We probably yeah have the cr we've got maps and we've got where it is now, so we know it's around. So exactly, and we've got the crew as well as the regular marine detachment, and we've got us. Yep, and we got a teleportarium, so that's deployment problem. We don't have to do a triple dropship thing. Yep, good because that actually would be a bit of a shenanigan. Yeah, no, I think actually we should. Um, at least I think there's a reasonable but, case for us going down there and kicking the living mercy out of the go. But do we need to like do we need to secure it now, or should we wait until we get yeah. our freighters closer? Or because once we secure it, we're gonna hold the damn thing, and it's a couple of kilometres. Mm, that's true. Nah, that's which is why, yeah. which is why we haven't didn't hit it with the crew straight up because it's a couple of kilometres of territory, and it's a bit much for us to defend with true. 130 guys. <clears throat> Yeah, I suppose actually. Of course, thirty like ten percent of our crew. One hundred and thirty. Now that's like I don't, I don't know. Can we use our crew as shock say, troops? Our crew, we could use, you can use wave extra crew, yeah. Here. And yeah, I suppose there's that actually. That'll give us that'll give us sentries and whatnot. That that'll make it harder if we have to go toe to toe with this um, like cruiser. Well, uh, not. Arguably, we're not doing anything that would provoke her interest anyway, presently. If we're about to steal you a factory. Presently. Oh, yeah, but the she... factory that, that provides her with weapons that she sells. But we also now basically own the guy who's communicating with her. So what's stopping us from getting the governor 
to simply send her a message saying, oh, well, all's well, you don't need to come by and visit for X months. She's going to work out that a rogue Probably trader won. came and he suddenly decided to quit. Not everybody yeah, is as versed as psychers as we are. Uh, I think oh. they'll figure it out. Anyhow, and she, like, why would she want to not come by and pick up more weapons? Like, bit of money to sell. Actually, there aren't any available. Hmm. And remember <laughs> that she wants, she's got someone to sell them to right now. Like, someone is buying the weapons off her, so I thought part of the plan was we get her contacts to find out who to sell them to, other than the war worlds. Yep, true. In which case, what are we going to do in the air 100 and something days until the freighter rocks up? That was, yeah, what? Party? Yeah, you can just sit in the system. Set, set Sebastian loose upon the populace? Oh, God, no. We can actually drop to, like, 60% of crew population without doing anything terrible as long as we stay in the system. Like I don't think we need that 4, many men. Crew? The fact 4,000 um, troops. To, well, we don't have weapons for everyone, do we? I thought we taking a weapon factory. Like, I mean, 4,000 <laughs> like, guns. Taking the factory that makes the weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, that's a possibility if we want to prepare to, if we want to invade the factory now rather than waiting. Okay. Is, is, is um, the pirate gunrunner guy catch or whatever in the factory or has he got a, a yeah, state he, he's got his, his own army little, outside he's got, got his own little bunker on the edge of the factory I'll tell you what actually we could sort of take our usual running uh, level of competence with warp jumps just do a small jump back to salt for like a week and then judge about how well we do warp jumps by the time we get back here the freight will be practically here anyway yeah well I, I've got no problem with you just hanging around in, in orbit for couple of months. I months. prefer we yep. hang around in orbit, because if we try yeah, to do a jump, it'll be three years before we get back. Yeah, now Freya will be alone. And, and, and hey, and nothing then we'll says that back. in the time that we're here, the other rogue trader won't show up. Hmm. True. That's true. In which case, she'll be wondering what on earth we've been doing sitting in orbit for the Xbox. <laughs> so we <laughs> we were tired. Waiting for her, of course. Can we just scan the system to see if there's anything interesting while we're waiting? Do an extended action scan. Yep. Very extended. Yeah. Well, do we want to swing by her planet? Like, because she stops by a different planet. She doesn't stop by here. They shut all the weapons off and then pick them up from another world. So, do we want to go visit her little planet 2AU away and see what's there? Yeah, I would like to go and visit that, definitely. Actually, why the hell not? It's probably a lot better than waiting on our thumbs for most of the time. Okay. Um, you burn over towards the planet. Uh, as you come around on the dark side, um, the it's one of those that's kind of max rotation, um, there's a star base built in. Well, a small base built into the side. Um, mm. Which Should I immediately I hails you as you come around the corner. Um, please state your business. Um, this is a Facility controlled by the Vanya Dynasty. Um, Paging Seneschal Trust. What What would we like to talk to them about? Mm. To meet the rogue trader. Yeah, I suppose actually I, we could just. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's what we're gonna do. That's pretty much what we were wanting was to meet him. Yeah, I mean, that I would mean, be true. We haven't done anything yet that merits us lying to her. No. I'd like to say yet. Emphasis on yet. So yeah, yes. we just, if we just tell them that we're wanting to meet the rogue trader in question, and this was the place we were told to come and wait if we wanted to. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, sure. That works. And, and a fun actually, thing to do is if we meet the rogue trader, we might actually be able to reprogram her. I imagine yeah. Ray might be getting slightly wise to this tactic by now, though. <laughs> <laughs> we don't just want to solve all our problems with murder servitors and reprogramming. <laughs> and <laughs> very large guns, remember <laughs> that. Oh, yes, big guns. Well, there's nothing stopping a Dauntless from having, you know, like, actual lance batteries and torpedoes and whatnot. Yeah. 
And I don't think so, there's anything stopping her from having a psychic that can do the same thing. Uh, like, she yeah, could take too. all the away, and then two days later he comes back singing her praises. Yeah. yeah so, anyhow, that's, we, we just want to meet a rogue trader. That's meet their rogue trader. That's that's our mission. Yeah. At the moment. That's what we're on. Diplomatic mission only. Mm. It hurts to have more contacts and know who's else out there. And maybe we could glean if she's... Associated with uh, our friend, Mr. Sersh. Oh, there's maybe an opportunity that she needs more numbers to exploit. I mean, that are too big for her to handle on her own. Um, She's got a select destitute ship. She's out here in the middle of nowhere. Apparently, from what we've been able to tell, the other guy, the other governor whatever his name is, uh, said that she was a small-time rogue trader. Well, yeah, but small-time is relative. Technically, mm. Ash was small-time when we entered the Expanse. We've done pretty well for ourselves since. And even if we have disappeared for a few years on it. <laughs> um, yeah, so the reply, uh, your reply to this is basically that um, she's not in system. They expect her back sometime in the next year. The, the the next part of the run, um, and would you kindly back your big ship away from our station? They know. Is their station interesting? No, it's pretty much um, it's some sort of um, beacon. It's basically just a little station which has got um, a satellite dish attached to it. And it's obviously there just to keep a track of what happens in the system. Well, yeah, there's no point in the antagonising the people who work for her, then we might as well just back off. If she's not around, she's yep. not going to be around for some time. And there's no need to give her a dodgy yep. impression of us before we validate it. Mm -hmm. So, a couple of months pass, I'm guessing. you got nothing else to do? Mm -hmm. Nope. No. Um, time passes. Um, and the... I forgot what you call it. The fateful journey enters the system. Fateful journey. Was it rested from a space hulk or something? That's what your ship was called. Yeah, that's our, that's our freight, freight. I guess. It's your freighter. Oh, that right. Everyone went crazy and died on. All oh, right, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So it's we we have a factory to acquire. Yep. Yeah. Now we have a bit of a uh, what's the technical term? Hostile business takeover. Yeah. Well, do we want to drop and take out the um, officers? being cash and whatnot. Um, how long does it take us to soak with the teleportarium if we transport the crew and whatnot down? How long is it till we can... Like, can we all drop down together or do we need to stagger it? Or? The teleportarium is literally the size of weapon batteries. Yeah, I'm just like... I know it's the size, but do we, we want to drop the crew and maybe our troops, I don't know, in the main factory and let them have their fun. But can we, at the same time, sort of beam down to the bunker and take that from there while the crew are cleaning out the factory? Well, bear in mind that it the bunker is actually... It would take two jumps. Sorry, go on. Uh, I was just thinking, if we're going to be do doing two different locations, it would be two different jumps. Yeah, yeah is that like... Like, is that going to take us long to do? Like, will we be oh, um... vulnerable, or will the crew be vulnerable to having people actually in control and coordinating? I, I don't know how many guards he's got, and they've only got las guns, so... That, and also, his bunker is actually directly by the factory complex anyway, so... Yeah, I, I guess we could just drop everyone, crew and us, in the same spot. And then move to and the areas that we need to go? Yeah, and the crew do their thing, because I'm going to assume they've been studying the plans and have their attack plan all sorted. Yeah, you've had a month to plan for this. They're probably so the salivating at the thought, no less. Oh yeah. Yep. yep. So we're about we to get some variety in their daily meal. <laughs> yeah. So we I can guess drop, they're tired of the corpse crew. starch rations. We're all tired of corpse starch rations. <laughs> you become tired of corpse starch rations the minute you have your first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be the point. So, yes. Yeah. So yeah, we can Sorry. drop down, and the crew can take the take the facility, and while we cover their backs and um deal with the sort of officer you command staff. Yes. Oh, uh, you missed it. Yeah, yeah alright, that sounds good. Right. 
So you, you're going to make an assault on the bunker? Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do we I, have? Any, sure. Do we have we any have, crack grenades? We don't. Uh, well, we got some grenades. Didn't we? No, we only got frags. We have a melter pistol though, so I'm not worried about doors. Okay. Doors shouldn't be too much of an issue. We have quite a lot of stuff with high penetration, so with all those guys, we just shoot the hinges off. <laughs> we'll punch them down. Oh yeah, you. Oh, we do also have a go of a power fist. That's true. Which can kill. Know. Something that can kill tanks should be yeah. okay. We'll be good. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Everything. Well, he could, fail, he could fail. Uh, he could fail. He could fail the. Um, he could fail the tech use and drop us 50 feet above the ground. Because no. <laughs> no. I don't know about you, but I don't have a jump pack. <laughs> yeah, we just use you as a cushion. You've got power armor on. Oh, sorry, Sepaz. Yeah. Yes, Sepaz. Yes, yeah. Power armor, power armor make is not necessarily cushy. No, it's, it's rather sturdy. Anyhow, shall we do this then? Unless... Yep. I've, Someone's got a better I've, I've, idea. I think we've got a plan, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> it would oh, explain man, this chat. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just ignoring it now. Oh, come on. They're talking about schnozberry schnapps and all the other sort of things they can make out of it. And the, the high probability after all the shenanigans it's been through, it's probably demon booze by this point. <laughs> yep. Demon brew. That's awesome. We did brew it while we were lo stuck in the wharf one many times. Had nothing else to do. Right. So, if you'd like to make your um, teleportarium rolls. First for the crew. Uh, you dropping right. them into strategic locations across the factory. That would be tech use, right? Yep. Alright. So, oh, various locations across the factory. Yep. How many times do I have to roll? Just roll once, I'm just, I'll abstract it. Five. Five. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much drop them, you know, into every guard post. Suddenly every guard post has a couple of crews in it going, I, <laughs> I op. <laughs> and all, silently, well, let's have a quick roll. Yeah, almost silently your guys are now in control of the, um, the factory. It's funny, you don't think stealth when you think crew, and yet somehow... Well, you know, they are hunters. They are hunters, and they have worked with the tower for a while. Yeah. Ah, oh, true, yeah. Yeah, no, quite stealthy. I suppose I'm used to the Dawn of War interpretation of the crew, where they just sort of tend to be screaming tribesmen equivalent. Mm. Dawn of War has crew. So yeah. I play that one. Yeah. They're, crew. They're yeah. like, pretty nasty, you know, but just gotta remember, like, You'd almost never use them because the tower is going to kill everything from outside the fog of war with a ridiculous fucking range. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's a storm, not the dawn of war two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually so, um, yeah, the that dawn of was, war yeah. one expansions were really badly balanced. <laughs> yeah, it's just like so. Like, what were they? We were just playing. I was like, what were they thinking? In all <laughs> fairness, dawn of war one, even dawn of war one normal wasn't exactly that balanced. Uh, yeah, well, just. Build Eldar and get fire prisms in six minutes and game over. And you are done. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And if, if that doesn't work, build D cannons mm. and have them just annihilate. Uh, a pair of D cannons can just annihilate a squigger. Pretty much. I miss the squigger. Anyhow, thought <laughs> of Eldar. Eldar will like break. Number, the oh, RNG love that uh, Necrons can give you if things worked out right. I play against my buddy and he can never. Keep him alive, but I could like keep one squad almost the entire time. He couldn't fucking keep him dead. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Necrons. Anyhow, I believe we're dropping in to, to to say hello and notify them of the that their new services management. are no longer required. Exactly. It's like this place is a new management, bitch. Yep. Oh God, don't no, drop no, the bitch. No, it, posh people shouldn't swear. Fair enough. <laughs> It doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so um, if you would like to make you my teleportarium roll, this one's going to be at minus 10, because you're trying to drop into a, a bunker. Roger. Please don't put us inside the walls. I thought we were going outside the bunker. Oh, uh, well, what? The crew were. Still well, passed. What was reprobated? Yep. Yeah. I think the idea this was. This facility is under new management, Horson. 
and zap. Yeah. Oh, I still don't have oh, oh, hello. Here we go. In hindsight, we should have drawn weapons. Or, or do we get... I'm assuming we know you've we drawn weapons before you teleported in. I don't think you're that stupid. No, yeah, we no, go yeah. in there with the intent to hug them to death. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's a bigger facility than <laughs> oh, I expected. It's this tile set again. Why don't the it's not line exactly the same, but yeah, it's <laughs> something. Because it's very hard to do. <laughs> right, hang on, so where the hell are it's, we? It's nigh on impossible to get this thing to line up. It's like looking at Tartan. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an insult to Tartan. <clears throat> so, where are we? Right. We're in the very bottom left bottom in this corner. slightly red Ah, uh, I see it now. Oh yeah, hey, you yeah, actually brought my uh Yes, we have your little pet. Yay. I remembered. Can I recommend you lock the tokens? <laughs> Just to <laughs> show no. nice. so I actually spun someone I was trying to zoom in, but There you go. Yep. Okay. So you have a quite a large facility to explore. And so. Which direction are you heading? Uh well looking at it. If you were going to have a command center anywhere, it was probably going to be that blue area in the middle. Probably Makes go straight to that. Yeah. Would we even have a layout of the map, though? Yeah, I'm assuming you've had three months. You would have scanned this place in and out. All right. Then. Yeah. I'm, that, I'm being nice to you. You are, yeah. Yeah. Just wait until we accidentally get sent through the warp to a death world, and we just land there, and it's like, well, there's death trees everywhere. Good luck. <laughs> Why did we land there? That's that's. Because the death accident. world, we'd have to have a very good reason to land there. It's Teleport's fine, I just teleport awesome. you onto the death world. as part yeah, of the walk trouble. Hey, you see, see there's uh, something down there worth it. money. That's so, it. we're going... So, we're not going there, we're going straight no, up, are we? Yeah, I think the idea is we're going straight up and then... Hang on, I've, uh, I don't know where Seb's going. What? <laughs> I think Seb's going his own little glorious adventure. Yeah, the idea was I thought we were going... Um, hang on, I'm trying to get the pointer to work. We'd go up and then around... Sorry probably clear out that big room to be honest just because there's going to be something of import there and just going straight into the blue room do sounds like a plan do we know what the room in the bottom right with the hole in it is it's like a garbage storage <laughs> yeah, it must be some kind of storage maybe, or, what, maybe like it's, it's the elevator facility. yeah maybe it almost looks like a lodge facility mm. or it could just be the actual door no, it could yeah. be we don't use doors. Because remember, we teleported in. This is not yeah. the main entrance. True. Yep. Is there anybody so in the room with us? <laughs> no, nope. this bit's completely empty. One very huh. surprised. <laughs> yeah, one very very space rat. Which Hopefully we don't alert it. <laughs> uh, immediately we... keels over and dies. <laughs> space shark. We'll come to think of it. Space. It's space shark the buffet. So, yeah. heading up to the green room? Yep. Um, yeah, I think that's the plan. Yeah, going straight Forward. up the and then north again we'll at next junction to get to that green room. Okay, any specific order you want to go up in? Um, can we have Seb at the front seeing as he's wearing power armor? Yep. I should probably be next to him. I uh, Yeah, I should probably be in the front too, just because what the hell am I doing? I'm going to stay back in the back with the long lads. Well, remember, I've got uh, 16 wounds and a whole shit ton of armor, so. <laughs> yeah. You could tank I'll the party. I'll stay on rearguard too. Say again? Say again? I was just saying, you could tank the party fairly reliably. Yeah, so Set I want to be up in the front. Not only that, but I get free action shots. Right. Oh, your shoulder mounted. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cool. Spinning coal, spinning coal. Trying to... Right. I guess we're mid-range. How's that look? Yeah, my right tiny now. guy can fly. How high is the roof? Uh, it's only about six feet. Only about six feet. That's not very. Well, so eight feet. So no, normal height. In all fairness, in all fairness, we are inside a bunker. Yes, but <laughs> I've been inside real bunkers. They generally have at least about eight feet. I got your back, Captain. It's yeah. speaking more than me, I'm only like four for eight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it's plenty of room. It's Basically, you hear Hi. the noise. Also, I'm sideways. <laughs> yeah. Who's been rotating? <laughs> Why? It's the shops, man. It's the shops. Fucking schnozbrays, man. Alright. 
Actually, I, that's what I think trust that Aubrey were doing in the in a couple of months' downtime once attack went in. Just trying um, to respect the Schnozbury A. If, uh, if someone would be so kind as to look up the roll on a long last, that would be great. Uh, one moment. Yep. Ranged. I'll have it open because. Oh, I've broken it. Sorry, my PDF is a little bit um, temperamental. Long last. Yeah. Uh, uh, 150 minutes. Sorry, 150 meters range, single shot only, 1d10 plus 3 energy damage, 1 penetration, 40 rounds in a clip, full reload, accurate, accurate, that's not a word, accurate, accurate and reliable. Mm -hmm. In short. You're welcome for that, by the way. Thank you. In other words, everything in here is pretty much short range. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was, yeah, I was just looking to think. Do I want my Melter or my Archaeotech? How, what was, how what far was the plus on the 1d10? Uh, 1d10 three. plus 3. Okay. <clears throat> okay, yeah. oh, I guess we need to roll initiative. Yep, so these are 5 foot um, kind of squares. Actually, no, that's stupid, isn't it? The 1 meter squares, that's probably about the right size. Yeah, yeah. sounds about right. And these also. are groups of 4, again. These hard gun groups. Right. So, sorry, are we rolling initiative or not? I yeah. Missed. Yeah, you basically you advance forward until you run into contact, which is about right. here. Initiative ten. Initiative nine or seven. Uh, I can do math. Okay, so oh, wait, 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 wait. Nice. who's rolling hundred? Who's rolling D one hundred for their initiative? Ten. <laughs> uh, that's a plus three. Yeah. Wait, so uh, what's that's my initiative twelve. Move? Uh, your initiative modifier is the tens of your agility. Three, sorry. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, let's see. I'll also roll a roll again for my uh, what's it called? Service school. Service school. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Fine. Okay, <Fine>. my <laughs> goal is extra observed. <laughs> yeah, my mm. service school goes before me. Yeah. Actually, do we do we have the drop on these guys or? Um, no, it's kind of running to each other because okay. teleporting in is not exactly quiet. And there's a no. type stomping down the corridor in power armor. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> if we were trying to do a move silently, then maybe, but no. I don't think Sebastian can move silently in this. <laughs> I'd be shocked. What's trust's initiative? Uh, let's see here. Nice roll. Hooray! You did the same as me. <laughs> Whoopsie! Yeah. Ten. And it was a really good roll, too. Yep. You, you yep. just need your one do ten. You know I'm do ten, not a hundred. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Well. Just roll a d10. Yeah. 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 Nine, your initiative. Um, nine. Plus three. Plus twelve. Three. Yeah, twelve. Join the 12, 12 squad. Hooray. Damn it. You, oh. my servo school, and Sin, I believe. Yeah. My initiative is god awful. Uh. Alright. One second, and it's. The servo school apparently doesn't kick in, so it's the servo school. Oh, servo, oh, servo school, school then, eh? Yeah, it doesn't uh, give a, a ping notice for them. All right, I have the servo skull float up a little bit, and it should be able to go straight to its flyer six. So one, two, uh, five right and one down. Then fire at th group three. Yep. All right, so this is against. Let's see, it is. Stick skill 35, so it's against 45. It hits! <laughs> Alright, roll your damage. Alright, this would be uh, as a single shot, so uh, 1d10 plus 2. Watch your righteous fury now. 8. Eight. I gun three. I'm trying to find it on my list. There we go. Eight points of damage. Right. Eight points of damage minus their armor and toughness, right? Yep. Yeah. 
Um, armor is only well, it's four toughness, three, so only one point of damage. Yeah, that's still a point of damage. Yeah. I gave him a sunburn. Hey, that's your service yep. close, like your three moves, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Alright, now sends up. Yep, um, I guess I'll... Can I move through people, yeah, or...? Yeah, I'll assume there's enough space in these squares to move through each one another. Right, um... Hmm, that's gonna put me dangerously close to them, but out of the way the other two... <clears throat> I'll be taking care of group three if uh, anybody else wants to help. Oh, how many squares can I move since these are shorter than usual? What's the no what's usual? Uh, well, they're th one meter squares instead of five meters, so can I just still move three squares or...? That'd be 15 squares. 15 squares. So lots of squares. Yeah. Can move all the squares. Um, going to move over to here. Oop. I need to get a pointer. I think here, yep. Yep. And then I'm going to... I was going architect because of the thinner corridors. So, yep, I'll shoot them at once, which is against my ballistic skill of 44. No time to aim. No time to hit anything. Point blank shot. Add that. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, 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 unless that's like 30. It is. Five. Yeah, it says five. Oh, it's 30. Yeah, I need like uh, 54, 64. Yeah, I'd need 35. Right. I miss. Can you move 15 squares? Because these are one meter squares, because it's a bu underground bunker. It's a, it's a lot smaller. The game's designed to work on five foot squares, which I always think is a stupid thing. Because, you know, who occupies five feet of space? Really? Crossal space, everyone stay away. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, fighting space, that's quite big. Yeah, but not anyhow, <laughs> I'm done. Well, I've, I've taken shots five, and I've missed. Well, actually, no, five foot and three meters. And a meter is three foot, so. One and a half, so. Yeah. So I suppose it's not so. too bad, is it, actually? So yeah, I say especially you can, since grenades are a thing. Yeah. I, I say you can actually move. So we'll call them five, five foot squares. Okay. Um, my brain works in yeah. meters, sorry. I was doing five meters yep. is massive. Five feet isn't actually that big. My, yep. my um, arm span's bigger than that. So I'm going to move you back to about there, if that's okay. That's free square. Yep, that's fine. That free square movement. Yep, that's fine. Yep. I still miss, so whatever. So yeah, 